it's Kate Davis, Online School Level 3 for Dancing for Him Ministries. And today I'm going to talk to you about some marketing research strategies and social media. Uh, basically, there's just a few. There, there's, you know, you, there's Facebook and Twitter. Everybody uses those. There's um, Snapchat. I hate Snapchat because my stories get lost. I don't know. Uh, there's also Pinterest. Pinterest is fabulous for setting up a link. You can use it to link your pictures and then you just and people share pictures. It's really and and it, it's really cool. The one I'm going to talk to you today about is LinkedIn. LinkedIn is not normally thought of as a social media research marketing tool. However, it can be used that way. And so I'm going to talk to you about seven social successful social selling strategies. Um, the most effective way to engage your customers now is through social selling and using the LinkedIn sales navigator is a very helpful powerful tool so the first step is to create a customer centric or customer focused profile in LinkedIn you want a professional looking profile and company page if you have a company because your first impression is what gets the prospects your first it's what gets their interest you want your your, pro, your profile to grab their interest and so then you need to think about what your potential clients want and so being a dance minister at my profile would you know reach women in that need ministry or as a dance teacher my profile would need to be to be a reach clients that want to be taught dance. So your profile needs to talk about what you can do for a specific target audience, which is step two, determine who you want to help or who you want to serve, what product, you, what you're going to bring to that group. And that helps you establish your target audience. I would not necessarily advertise myself as a dance minister to, um, people who are looking for veterinary services, that kind of thing. So you determine who you want to help. And then don't say, I help people and be general. You say, I help ministers succeed or I help dancers succeed. So you need to, you know, zero in on what you do. That makes them feel special when they're reading about what you can offer them because it, it's identifying them. Then you need to work on building a strong network. Uh, there's an old saying, it's not what you know, it's who you know. That's not actually, actually true anymore because um, we can network with thousands and thousands of people now. So it's um, not what you know, but more who knows you. So in, you know, in that target audience of two to 5,000 people, you wanna make sure they, they know you, they, they, get, they come to your site. And part of doing that is keeping helpful content on your page, your LinkedIn page. So number step four is an acronym called ATOMIC, A-T-O-M-I-C, and it means always top of mind in your community. In LinkedIn, you end up building a community with like-minded providers. And so then you, you interact with them. And as you more you interact, the more you become known. And so you want to keep the mind of the community when you're posting stuff. You also want to spend time every day doing some kind of social listing. You want to engage the clients, engage the network, and provide, become valuable to them. The more you're on, the more you get looked at, the more connections you make, the more influence you have. And then a tip to say, um, use your clients to give you feedback because you can say you're the best at what you do and people might not believe you, but if other people say you're the best at what you do, you've triple fold your, it's just, or a thousand times folded your believability. All right, step five is you collect, connect, and convert. 
So once you have all of your profile and your systems in place and you're using your atomic activity, you have a three-step process to build and grow. You collect or find your prospects and then you actively start following and engaging with them. As you engage with them and follow them, you start connecting with them and you connect with them by using mutual connections or interests. So you, you're building your network by doing that. And then the final step is to convert a relationship with those connections where they're now following you and using you and you're bu building. Sorry about that distraction, I'm back. Okay, now step number six, wait. Always go back and help your first sellers that you connected with. LinkedIn is where you can help each other and mutually boost each other. So then, number six, you become an online influencer. Oh, calling yourself an expert or a specialist can make a lot of us uncomfortable, but kind of know that you are in what you've done. And so saying it doesn't make you prideful or boastful. And so put yourself in your buyer's shoes and realize that they would want to know that you feel that you are a specialist in the topic or an expert in the topic. So put that in your, in your verbiage. And then number seven is be persistent. Get involved doing it and get involved doing it every day and use your LinkedIn all the time. And it will grow and you will, become, you will end up uh, balancing out everything that you're doing. Thank you for listening to my talk about using LinkedIn for social marketing and research, social, social spread and research marketing, and keep on dancing for him.